<laughs> but anyway, I've never, I wasn't always this fat, I need to say that. I beat anorexia. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I hammered the shit out of it, actually. <laughs> I grabbed it by its scrawny little neck and twisted, and then stomped it around the ground and mixed it around and put it in mashed potatoes with gravy and butter, and I ate it. And I killed it. <laughs> but I fight it every day. <laughs> Usually with waffles, <laughs> syrup, all kinds of yummy stuff. Gravy. You no, know, not on my waffles. <laughs> what, are you sick? You from the East End or something? <laughs> she is, I know that. <laughs> Sorry. Where the hell was I? Oh. So I went to a, a flea market yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, I'm going to scribble that one out, too. <laughs> Flea market gone. But anyway, so the black thing. I need to say I screwed up when I was dressing. Oh. That's, why my ankles, that's why my ankles look fat. But ladies, these are size 14 shoes. <laughs> One lady in the back. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. Are you Spanish? Cuarenta. <laughs> How do you say that in French? Quatorze. Yeah, <laughs> Does someone say waffles? <laughs> but yeah, I'm from Prince George, fashion capital of the world, Woo! in 1995. God bless Kurt Cobain, God bless grunge, because I'll tell you, during the mid-90s, a ball cap, Mackinac, dirty jeans, and work boots was the height of fashion. And we were there. We were the Paris, France of fashion. Except we won a war. Get it? Paris, France never won a fuck. You guys. Please check your level of education. And now I'm offending them. But Prince George were more culturally diverse. I went out and I saw a. Um, Saw a Persian band. Anybody ever heard Persian music? You have Persia, uh, Iran, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, right? And I need to say that I now have a better understanding of the Arab world. It's, it's bringing us together. Has anybody ever heard Persian music out there? Yeah. A couple of you. Anybody like it? <laughs> Two of you. I, and if, for those of you who haven't heard it, I need to describe it. It's something like. It sounds to me like someone is killing a cat. <laughs> Bear with me. In slow motion. And I need to say that if I had to listen to this kind of music all my life, I would probably strap explosives to my body as well. <laughs> I have another checklist here. Catholic priests. <laughs> Muslims. <laughs> Fat people and anorexics. I'm almost finished. If you'll bear with me one more. And 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 uh, I can't work like this. Hello, hello. Actually, I think that means 40. <laughs> Brace yourself, sister. <laughs> but I'm from Prince George, and I gotta say, I got this good friend of mine, he moved away from, to Calgary about five years ago, and he come back for, come back for Christmas. And he's gay, 
and uh, that's cool. I'm perfectly fine with that. Tim, he's just a fun guy, fun to be around. But we're having lunch. And I said, Tim, when are you going to move back to Prince George? And he says to me, Mike, there's no gay guys here. And I said, Tim, because that's his name, Fartine. I said, Tim, we have five Starbucks. There's lots of gay guys now. <laughs> Sorry, Ivan, I, and I mean nothing by that. It was in the act long before this came about. And the nice thing about Starbucks is you can tell the gay guys in Prince George because they're the ones not wearing the ball cap, the mackinac, the jeans, and their dirty boots. That one died, too. There are a lot of gay Catholic... Muslim priests in here? <laughs> Good thing I didn't get into bulimia, eh? Huh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Lay off. Anyway, I'm just going to leave you with this. Uh, thank you so much for uh, to Laugh Lines. Leave you with this world-building thought. It takes a village to raise a child. But it takes a fire to raise that village. <laughs> Good night. Uh, Mike McGuire, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to change up the, uh, the mic cord, I think.